Hey guys, how's it going? Um, back working in the bathroom and uh, got things torn out as I will show you here. The toilet's gone, vanity and sink are gone, and got the uh, pipes cleaned up. Ready to put the valves on, but I don't have the valves. I, like an idiot, I bought the wrong kind. Um, what have I got? I got three. Um, one of them is compression fitting. Two of them are solder on type, and I know the solder on type. Yeah, I could do that, but what I've got is. I don't have any of the proper solder or the paste to to do it properly. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is uh, hit, hit up the store, um, and if I'm going to buy the solder and buy the paste, you know, for what it's going to cost me and the number of times I'm going to use it in the future, I might as well just use the you know, take the uh, valves back that I bought and get the ones that are compression fittings and then I can put them on um, and then I can continue on uh, taking the taking the uh, the vanity out was quite a chore because the uh, it was built in place and I'll tell you it was nailed together but old wood, you know, 50 year old wood. The nails were all very tight and I literally had to break it apart piece by piece to get it out of here. Uh, but one of the concerns I have now comes with the floor. Now I had kept uh, a piece of the floor, a couple pieces that were used as lining um, in the in the vanity that were used to line the shelves, um, but my concern is, if you see, there's the, the subfloor, and in this house, because of its age, it's planks, it's not plywood or OSB. It's wood planks. And then on top of that we got the, the paper and then we got quarter inch plywood here and then we've got the flooring. Now the vanity that we're, that we're going to put in is a little smaller than the one we took out so it's going to not quite go to the wall and it won't quite go over here. And the concern I have is if I take a piece of plywood, put it in here, it's going to be a slightly different thickness because this stuff's been drying for 50 years. And as you can see, it's lifted a bit here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I've got the flooring, which is adhered down, um, which I kept. So I could put a piece down uh, here to bring it up to level, but I'm going to end up with this big long seam that I have to try and make perfect or else it'll show through the vinyl flooring. Um, so one of the thoughts I had was that I would take the flooring and do that. I would put, down and I would put, the, uh, put a piece of the old stuff down because I don't want to disturb it as you remember I mentioned this has uh, got asbestos in it. Uh, and then I would blend or, or seal this somehow and try and get it smooth. But I can feel a, a very slight transition upward here. Uh, so I thought, okay, I could put a new subfloor on top of this, which would then prevent me from having to disturb the asbestos uh, lace tile. But then I got to thinking, and I looked, the 
walls were built on top of the, uh, the planks. And as you can see, the plywood stops just short of the wall. So the plywood was cut and fitted into the room. And that's like that all the way around. Now, the only place I would have trouble is I can I even check here and sure enough there's room there and there's room all around. The only spot is right along this seam where it touches and a little bit underneath the underneath the trim piece here. But other than that, this floor I think could be pulled up in one piece and then I put the new subfloor on on here. So I'm thinking that's the way to go uh, to get the floor level and then it'll save me having uh, a big step where it transitions to the original hardwood flooring here. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear the floor out. And what I'll do, because it does have asbestos and it's, it's non-friable right now, it's not airborne because it's not. Uh, If I were to run a saw through it, then of course I'd be kicking up to the dust and that, you don't want that. And also, uh, when I break it, there may be little bits of dust, so I'm going to keep the floor damp. I'm also going to use a, a P100 certified... Um, dust mask um, and make sure I keep the dust level down as I do this. But I think that's going to be the way to go is to get this old piece of plywood up and then get the new subflooring and screw it down and start with a fresh base. I think that'll make a much better job. Uh, you know the amount of work involved I have to cut a new subfloor, I think, anyway, so whether I put it over the asbestos uh, linoleum or whether I put it over the old um, planking is the same amount of work. The only difference in the work is pulling up this piece of plywood. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. Anyway, I'm going to let you go and continue on with this. Um, I have to run to the store and pick up a couple of valves, but before I do that, I want to take a look at uh, um, I want to take a look at how it's going to go pulling this floor up, and if it pulls up easy, then I can maybe even pick up the subflooring tonight, um, and then maybe get it cut and start laying it down tomorrow. So, in the meantime, take it easy. Have a good one.